I just got to Newcastle. I'll be doing Masters of Architecture. Look at that. That's the main entrance, main gate. Try not to bump into people on my way. This is the architecture building over here. Overview of the things that were happening on the day. Hello everybody, I'm Filip Monilov and I just got to Newcastle literally yesterday and I will be going to the university here. I'll be doing Masters of Architecture and uh, this is this is a course I will take two years so I'm here for quite some time. I'm actually just going to some induction lecture or like meeting with the tutor group and yeah that's why I'm a bit rushing going up the hill but the city is absolutely beautiful super nice weather right now I mean it's a bit chilly but it's actually quite good and as you can see I think there's a stadium right there yeah I mean awesome stuff and I'll be doing more videos just showing things and yeah sorry it's a bit against the sun right now I'm on the road time to move out yeah but Basically, we're having a meetup with our tutor and for some reason they gave us five rooms I'm not entirely sure because they didn't really assign a specific room to me and uh, I mean, maybe it will be a bit more clear when I get there. So we'll see Yeah, so I just got out a bit of the city center I mean, it's just on the right But yeah, I think going somewhere uh, yeah and you can see there's a stadium yeah, and then on the left as well I think I'm just cutting all the busy streets that are left on the right here somewhere down there I'll show them in a bit building okay this is more like it best in building entrance one is just over there behind me the small door and I'll be going there it's suspiciously empty here so both these rooms are empty 241A to 41B empty as well I'll keep searching one of the rooms is a store I'm really confused even if I'm in the right building just spoke to a member of staff and he advised me to go downstairs check the basement because there's actually I mean seems like I'm going to the correct place but there's just nobody here small update I've done running around for now because basically I didn't receive one of the emails it there was like a mistake in the system and apparently the tutor sent us an email and uh, we were meeting at three o'clock in a coffee shop in the architecture building which is I mean finally we're getting somewhere but yeah, I think none of these meeting rooms were actually active and tutors moved them to different places and I just didn't receive this email for some reason, but as time goes on, I should be all fine. So I'm approaching the main courtyard right now and I mean, it's beautiful over here. Yeah, look at that. Very cozy, I kind of very like the atmosphere here. It's super nice. Yeah, look at this. Very nice. And also, you can see, some of you may know what this sculpture is. I'm just approaching. And it was super nice to see it here. Look at that. Well, if you haven't already guessed, that's Anthony Gormley's sculpture. 
Yeah, and that's one of the arches that I was filming earlier this year. Look at this. Fantastic. Yeah, just turned around from the sculpture. That's the main entrance, main gate, the university. Yeah, and what I'll try to do right now, I'll try to connect to my to the Wi-Fi, connect my computer, try not to bump into people on my way here, and yeah, just settle around, check some more emails, see if there is anything new arrived there. Yeah, and I'll just be exploring the buildings as well. I think the architecture building is just behind me somewhere there. I guess I'll probably film a more detailed guide around the place because this is me just first-hand exploring things I've literally just got here this morning visited it with my parents and that was an experience so right now I'm pretty much first time look at the grass absolutely amazing so this is the architecture building over here very beautiful and to the right i mean i think this is one of the entrances as well and to the right a bit further down that's the art building so it's connected Okay, a bit of an update. Just finished the meeting with a personal tutor. So that's basically a tutor who is providing our like some personal support if you have any life issues. I guess not as much related to studying. So we had a really quick one. I mean, sun is shining really into my face, but it's kind of all right. Just hard to look at the camera. And yeah, for now it's done for the day with uni stuff. And I'll be sorting out again my accommodation, just like moving things around and probably just getting th th some things from the shop. Just walking around the city center now and you see it's one of the central streets. It's basically, I would say it's more of a shopping street so not many beautiful buildings around here but it's getting very busy. I suppose because lots of the students are getting to the city and they're all coming back so the whole place is like super lovely right now and like lively I would want to say. It is Tuesday now and I'm on my morning walk I mean, the truck is blocking all the view and but this is like the central street and I think is looking really beautiful. So that's it right here that's a statue of Al Grey. Yeah. Nice view. We'll, you'll see another one. So I'm going on this series of lectures now. There should be introduction to the course, probably to the units as well. And I'll tell you what the units are about just later. This will take actually quite a bit of time, I think, because I'm getting there at half past nine and then it all finishes at about three o'clock with literally just a short half an hour or 40 minutes break for lunch. And then yeah and also you can see i mean i'm wearing the jacket and also i got gloves because it's actually quite chilly right now like i got out at seven degrees but it is gonna be about like 20 degrees in at lunchtime so like a 13 degree increase and you almost need to be wearing like a winter outfit or wear something warm in the morning and then transform into a summer outfit so this is a great start I uh, just was walking on and there we have it, Charles of Grey. This is where the lecture will be. I just come out at the back of the architecture building. So I'm finally done with the, all the introduction lectures for today and they took, I mean, way longer than I expected. It is like almost five o'clock right now. 
and we've been in that place for I mean the entire day since half past nine had a short lunch break but yeah now I'm just gonna get and find a probably more of a chill place and we'll talk you through the things that were we were having during the introduction this is the church of St. Thomas and it is right across the university I will try to do a quick overview of the things that were happening on the day and what we were up to during our introduction lectures we basically came into the first building and there was a I'd say like a semi large meeting of the all students who are going to be studying on both stage 5 and stage 6 so there's a because the year masters comprises of two years so I'm on stage 5 it's the first year of master's program for architecture and all of us were gathered there and then they went through a quick overview of the course and then we moved on into some optional modules and after that we've had the overview for the studios that we should be choosing and we got a deadline on I guess on this Thursday we'll get it make our final choices for the studios and I'll go through with the things that we covered I'll, I'll, as I was making notes I mean honestly if you feel like you're not very interested in this particular part feel free to just watch some like skip this part because I'll go a little bit into detail but I'll also try to be as brief as possible just to give you a, maybe a bit of understanding what the course is like for architecture masters of architecture maybe in general but in particular in Newcastle University so it is structured it is obviously connected uh, with a bit of a planning and landscape faculty but it's not completely that the same so we do we will be collaborating with them I guess at, at some point and maybe have conversations and common lectures but architecture is with a separate field and uh, yes that's the thing so, so we cover the degrees structured usually with studio uh, studio type uh, tutorials that have been that have been and a design project that we have to make so each one of us will have to be making their own project that is to design a certain building a certain space towards at the end of the year and that will be at the end of the semester too so second half of the first year the same thing for the second year it's going to be designing a project and uh, it will be based across different studios that are describing various themes and we shall be touching on later in this video I mean if you want to do some more research feel free to do so I'm not gonna go like again too much into details so and after that there was a obviously an introduction to so uh, I would probably say before before I'm time to talk about the lecture studios, uh, I want to mention that they just covered the overall approaches of the university. So it's a very collaborative interest group, and the studio for the year can you can remain in the same studio for the two years, or you can choose the next one. And obviously, there's a, been a very supportive network, and it's all research based so there's going to be lots of research and Newcastle is one of the leading university for research based studies which is obviously a good thing and yeah that's that's about it for this so for the first year which the one I'm going to be doing it's going to be semester one is concentrated on the urban fact, fabric so it's talking about the cities it's talking about the way that the buildings are interconnected so I guess more of a micro scale and then on the second semester is talking about the building fabric that is connecting more of a zooming into the structures of the buildings I mean at least that's what how I understood it yeah 
Right, and then the electric routes, like, there are, and I didn't entirely understand if it was like the optional modules or not. It says optional modules, but I guess uh, it's, I mean, optional I don't think is like, you gotta still do it from what I get it. So the, the one, the main one is the architectural ways of knowing and is uh, basically the ideal route for those who are pursuing and want to continue in the strictly architectural field, which is probably the one that I'm going to be choosing. But there are also other stuff, which is, uh, for example, urban design and urban planning, which is close to getting dives deeper into the city layouts and the city structures and a bit more of like uh, planning aspects of architecture. And then there is also a learning lab, which I did think was actually quite an interesting one, because learning lab was uh, some some uh, route which involves build environment education, and that was there is the the environment for places that could be educational in terms of like schools, kindergartens, universities. So it's looking at the ways that architecture is defining and these places and helps to like, progress and uh, help, help people to learn them and become a, like, the correct place for them to be in, in during their studies. And then, yeah, this was about it. I mean, again, the architectural ways of knowing is going to be a dissertation. We're going to have to write a 10,000 word dissertation, which will be an area of interest that we pick and then we explore it and dive deeper into that and then i'm just gonna run through the studio so this was like a presentation after lunch the different tutors were presenting their studios there were a total of eight studios i think that's an increase from last year and these studios i believe they're mixing in different years so it's mixing year stage five and stage six together and that's what that's why they call vertical studios so it's going to be a mix of students in them and they will be, I guess, we'll, I mean, working together depending on the studio. Some of them are new, some of them uh, you could stay on for a long period. So for example, the first one I'm about to cover, you are supposed to stay there for two years, but the others, I guess, is optional if you want to be there in, for, two, for the whole two years of the studies. So, I mean, off topic question off topic uh, thing that I wanted to say the names of the studios are I mean bonkers I would say they don't they, they could have just called it something a bit more normal in a way but the names are the names no comments basically so the first one is called Bathans Brosh I think I mean I even struggled to read it Bathans Brosh and Buffies and uh, it is a uh, it's, it is a studio that is concentrated on, as what I understood, the processes of uh, building with wood and also uh, the natural, the natural, the connection of living in within the nature. And so one of the first, right, so basically the video interrupted and I will have to redo it again. But anyways, I got up to like the fifth studio. So this one is just talking about the connection of wood and you have to design a small hut to begin with and that could be an interesting project and I think that later on it's expanding so in this one you will have to be using wood as a building material for the initial project and then be completely sustainable within it and this car is loud yeah it was basically concentrated about wood, that's what I understood. And we'll get to see the process of production of wood. I don't know if that recorded before, so we'll see. <laughs> if I repeat it myself, that it is what it is, you get the point. Next one, the Studio 2 is called Between Ecos and Heritage. And it's talking about the economy and ecology and the connection and relationship with their family and community. So the location for this is actually quite nice. It's also connecting the heritage so the location is in York and York is claiming to be uh, almost a world heritage site right now which is it's applying it's not it's not got like a certificate yet but it's applying to be one so that will be a really interesting site to be working with 
and just exploring the ways how this could be connected also with tourism and conservation. So it's like closely related things. I would say quite an interesting studio. Next one is uh, climate infrastructure. I mean, for me, it's a bit controversial, I guess, because I don't. Some things I don't think they are as uh, they have been discussed. But anyways, so it's talking about the architecture that is related to the change of climate that is being affecting us right now and how we should uh, adjust our ways in which we build stuff. So, for example, the rise of sea levels right? and, uh, that will be moving out of the coast very soon within like the 50 year time. And they also didn't give a specific site for this one which means that everyone has to choose the site of their interest and I did think it's a bit more chaotic in that way. The other one is called In Mind Studio and I think this one is actually very interest, interesting for me and I mean in general because it's talking about the architecture that is the tool as a for healing and the tool for creating this type of in environment for mentally ill people that are having neurodegenerative conditions and it's always interesting to see how architecture can be a good environment and creating this place for, for people with these conditions and for them to be in and have a happy and normal life even though they have this condition so it can be very helpful for like is it could be used again as a tool and it could be something that is helping these people to live with this condition and yeah so they gave us a site in Newcastle and also one in Sunderland and I think something around and it could be interesting to explore right the other one is FBA material change and it's all about regeneration, reimagining, retracing, rebuilding, all the words that start with we, re, and uh, the location is in central Newcastle and I guess around the area and it's talking about the buildings that are being reused and re refurbished and I guess retrofitted as well uh, which is a, I guess it is a really good exploration point for any kind of architecture practice because if the structure is already there, if there is an opportunity to repurpose it and reuse it, it is always a good thing to consider. So that probably might be on my list of things. The other one is quarrying a new vernacular, that's the name of the studio, and it's a specific interest in stone and it's concentrated so unlike the wooden one this one is concentrated on the extraction of stone on the processing stone and uh, it's talking about how this extraction of stone is pretty environmental compared to lots of other methods so if you compare it to any other building ways concrete the material and metal materials for those structures have to be extracted regardless so but they have to be processed as well and then they can only be used after that whereas this one you can extract the stones and they're pretty much ready to use like blocks of stones so it's using the existing materials as they come and it's this kind of argument with the processing materials and using the one that's already there and there will be a field trip to Edinburgh which could be quite interesting and I guess the, one of the locations is Edinburgh and Scottish quarries so that could be quite a, like quite a nice area to explore. All right, the other one is uh, connecting AI with human fallibility. Honestly by the feel of it it was one of the most uh, boring studios and uh, the, some students next to me also didn't feel like it was particularly interesting. I didn't as well. So. I mean, so it was talking about how AI is more using AI as a tool and understanding how AI is coming to make specific things. If you ask something, if you ask like a specific one, I mean, journey to generate 
a, a certain vision of the place, like a gallery, it would come up with a, the argument was that it would come up with something quite generic, but I mean, they didn't expand it further. My personal opinion would be, well, if you really enter a super generic request, you would actually get a very generic answer. So I guess it's always has been within what type of questions and what type of requests you ask this particular tool. And in this particular case, like if you want to guess a gallery, well, maybe don't just say a gallery, maybe say uh, something that's completely bonkers and unimaginable. Well, like this AI would come up with a solution very quickly. So like a timber gallery designed by bees for humans, or I mean, I'm just anything that is quite extraordinary and not a very straightforward thing. And that's when this AI tool could be probably go on ta off tangent and start to combine various things that are not just on the internet, like a gallery, 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 here, there, there. It would start to combine some existing concept of the gallery and of some structures from bees and so on. So it could be interesting if you were to look at it that way, I guess. And they also didn't really give a specific location. So I think some of them were dotted across Italy for the project site. But then again, we're not going to Italy and there's only a field trip to Edinburgh. And the last one is called the Regen. It's, this one is combining the ways of the nature, nature, all the natural products, all the natural materials and all the materials that can actually be grown, so they call it like the grown materials, and it's talking about the ecological aspects of architecture and combining it with the responsive materials and probably trying to emulate the growing status. So the concept is to almost make a city into a forest and a forest into a city, so combine these two and make it pretty much as sustainable as possible and it involves with experimenting with new materials trying to come up with some I guess something that could be explored as in maybe grow some moss grow like any natural living material that could be then used for structure and this would be I would suppose this would be a heavily research based project with a lot of experience so that could be one that I put on my list of things and the locations for this would be Upper Time Valley and uh, I think like the villages around the place so again yeah so that was that was it with the studios I hope that was quite interesting definitely this is probably not the end of the video I might break it down later on depending on how long it becomes because I mean this induction week there's all obviously lots of things happening and as I'm going into the details of what's going on on the day and also related to my course. So it's not just a generic video if you are applying to uh, Newcastle or if you're just studying here as well. It's quite uh, architecture specific and specific to the course. So probably if you are doing this course, if you're considering doing it, maybe that could be a valuable information for you. But otherwise, I'm trying to be as brief as possible, not to bore you to death and with all this information. And if you like what you see and if you like how I'm describing things and if you want to see how I continue on this journey of this course, you definitely should subscribe to the channel, give a like so I can understand that you like the content that I'm making, maybe comment what you think about the stuff and I will see you later, maybe not the end of the video yet. So I did just check and it turned out that the last bit of the recording was quite a long one so I'm probably gonna break the video into two parts for the induction week and this will be the end of the part one so definitely subscribe to the channel for the part two it will be coming out really soon after because I'm literally just editing it as I'm going and yeah subscribe I did say subscribe come on I mean subscribe again if you didn't and uh, I'll see you in the next video stay tuned bye bye